What is up guys, it's Mitchell or Didi, and I'm excited to do this video. We're going to be doing strays in Guild Wars today, but we're going to be doing stri uh, straws or strays on a counter set. So we know he works in Cleave, obviously he's absolutely amazing, but I want to see how he works in more of a turn two setup and he will be on Hellcatter. But before we get into that, we have a quick sponsor from LD Player. So LD Player is the emulator that I always use for Epic 7, so I use the stream Epic 7. It's the emulator that I found that works best, but I'm going to go ahead and roll that video real quick and... Uh, trying to check it out. It does support the channel. I'd appreciate it if you give it a try if you need an emulator or if your current one isn't working well enough for you. Give this a try. It works great for me, but here we go. I'll take you on. To me. I'll help you. I can't lose. <laughs> All right, but now let's go ahead and look at the Strays build for today. So, with Strays, or Straws, whatever. I like Strays. It just sounds better than Straws. But I have fully mulled his S3. His S2 is not fully done, and his S1 is not fully finished. But with this, he is also missing his last Awakening. But here are going to be the stats for him. So we have 3140 attack on Hellcutter, 74% crit chance, 274 crit damage. So if I did have the full Awakenings, he'd be 3200 attack, 284 crit damage, which is not too bad. I did end up putting him on a little bit of speed. We have 185 speed. I don't want him to not move at all, but... I don't want him to be too fast because we do want the Hellcutter stacks before his initial turn. If he does counter, he is going to cut, so it kind of takes a little synergy off of turn one. Beer, but after that, I feel like this could be pretty good overall. Doing the Hellcutter build allowed me to go for a little bit less of crit chance, which hopefully will end up working out. In Guild Wars, it's a little bit harder because it's 3v3 instead of 4v4. But we're going to go ahead and try to find three different teams that have a semi-bulky team comp to try this against. So against Carrot, I don't see it working too good against this, in all honesty. Um, I was going to do something like Maid Chloe with him, and then into the Carrot. I think I'm just going to end up getting uh, kind of wrecked, but it might be worth giving it a go. I think the Landy's just going to do too much damage, so we'll try to find one team here that looks a little bit safer. Alright, so looking at this team comp, I don't know at all what I'm doing. So this person already went ahead and did the double violet, which looks pretty cool. They are only level 68, so I'm not sure how good their gear is going to be. But next, the top team, we do have Krau, Seaside, Bologna, and Selene. So I'm going to go ahead and fight this comp just because I want to see the green violet and see if it can absolutely pop off and destroy me. But the top team, I'm going to play it pretty safe. We're going to go ahead with Strays, Ruel, and Solitaria. This way, Solitaria can go ahead and try to stun this. SSB won't be able to do anything. And we'll try to one-shot the Krau with Strays and see how this ends up working out. The bad thing is it will get defense buff, actually, which does kind of suck, but uh it, it's just i mean if we lose strays then we'll just back out of it but the bottom team looks fun too let's go ahead and get into this fight all right so let me go ahead and turn more game sound on now and then so first off going into this what i want to do is stun the i kind of want to go for the stun on the crow in all honesty that crow is pretty slow so it definitely has some effect res i either want to do the stun on the crow or the selene if I go for... I'm going to go for the Krow, because the Selene will end up losing. Yeah, let's go ahead and just go for the Krow, because we don't want it to get defense buff. We want to one-shot the Krow straight out of the map, if we can. I don't think I'll hit it, though. Yeah, oh, we hit the stun, though. Okay, that's what we need. We didn't get the pushback. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit the... I'm just going to hit the Krow here. We don't have attack buff on Strays, though, but we do have Hellcutter 4, so let's go ahead and do our dunk. See how much this does. I missed two crits. and it Okay, I missed two crits. That's really unfortunate. Uh, that would have almost one-shot, if not one-shotted, the, uh, the crowd there. We missed two crits. I had four stacks. What is the chance of that? It can't be good. What is the chance of that? I have 14, 74 plus 4 stacks. 
Um, so my highest attack unit right now is the strays. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and heal because the Selene should proc into strays if she's on the proper... Okay, so she goes on invincibility. That's perfectly fine. Okay, and then now strays is buff blocked and heal blocked. So we'll go ahead and rip the S2. That did really good damage, though. Um, I don't know. That's kind of a failed debut because of low crit chance. I might have to adjust the build. We might do that. We'll go We'll go mess with the build a little bit before. It's Holy Sacrifice. Oh, it's Holy Sacrifice. All right, we're going to try to stun the Krowl again. It is Holy Sac. That is unfortunate. We still have our heal on Ruel, so we should be able to save Strays regardless. All right, now we're fine. So she does a little attack. So Strays, let's see, is S1 damage? So this was without attack buff. I just wanted to see how, how viable he would be without that. Next fight, we will do attack buff. So we'll go ahead and finish out the crown now. And then it's just going to be praying we get a stun here. Okay, buff block. We did hit. We missed there. That's fine. All right, another chance for a stun. We hit again. Solitary can't miss. There we go. We got the stun. All right, so now Strays has a couple Hellcutter stacks. Guild War isn't the best Hellcutter place to try him out. That was pretty good damage. I mean, he does pretty good for only 3,100 attack, no attack buff. But yeah, next fight we will definitely do probably General Pergus uh, along with us. So I do not have Soul Burn here. Um, without having the Soul Burn, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to... I want to keep the Green Violet alive. I want to keep the Green Violet alive. This might be inting, and if I miss, we're probably going to lose anyway. Yeah, we double miss, of course. All right, so it's very unlikely we one-shot this Remnant Violet. Don't Moonlight Dream Blade me. Don't Moonlight Dream Blade me. Don't Moonlight Dream Blade me. Nice. Okay, we, we, we got it. All right, now I'm actually going to go ahead and just S1 into the Violet. Just to kind of see how much HP. And Violet will get attack buff here, but we are stealth, so we're looking decent. How should I do this? And we'll strip the revive buff on the wrap round. And what is that buff? Is that uh, that what I really want to know here is if that buff is strippable? Ooh, it's Idol's Cheer. Idol's Cheer. Oh wait, Idol's Cheer is terrifying. Okay, it is Idol's Cheer. Okay, so now we go ahead and we'll rip the S3. I don't think this can be stripped, but we'll find out right here. I got well, maybe, unless... I haven't read Violet, because I don't own him, so I didn't strip it. Um, but it seems pretty done. Alright, there's a little dual attack, decrease attack. Let's see the damage. Does he still have decrease attack? He does. So that did 5,500 with decrease attack. That's not too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the Violet does not have his thingy. I'm just going to rip into him because he lost his evasion. I correct, I believe. Yeah, so that it was a free freebie. I just wanted to see what the Violet was like, but I'm going to go ahead and try to t come up with another team comp, but something with attack buff for the strays. Probably General Pergus with some kind of com combination of something else on there, and then we'll try that in the next fight because I want to see how much damage he will do on the current build all right so there we go first fight done and we'll go ahead and i will cut into the next fight now all right so here we are into the second fight so this top team they are all hp scaling bruisers which makes me think that strays could be pretty good into this i am going to go ahead and take him into this top team the ken and the alencia and newly buffed elena is going to be on this team so i it's part of why i picked it was elena next up we have ravi Deanne, and lilius so this looks pretty pretty simple depending on the speeds of everything so the bottom team should be easy but the top team should be a decent straight showcase so what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to blue crowd made chloe for the attack buff into strays so we're going to play this one super safe and we'll play the last one pretty aggressive and have a chance to lose i just well i don't know why i'm really caring about mystics but uh, next up, we're going to just have this same simple extinction combo on the bottom. Just go for Apoc Ravi right out of the gate and try to one-shot it and be on, be on with our day. So here we go. I think my mate Chloe has gear on. Hopefully she has gear on. All right, so let's see. She does have gear on. Very nice. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just rip it turn one. I really shouldn't. I should wait till turn two because the Alencia. But it is what it is. And then... Oh, actually, yes, I should have waited till turn two. 
So second, I am going to go ahead and put up defense buff for these strays. And the nice thing about strays right here, though, is I am going to go ahead and do the S2 for the double strip. I wanted to try this out. Look at that. That's so cool. It strips everything. All right, this is kind of scary, though, now that I'm thinking about it, though, because we've already used Make Chloe's Revive. We should have held that. I got too excited when we started the fight. I should have thought this through a little bit better. The only one that gets stripped is Strays, and he's going to die. Why? Stop! Oh my goodness, he gets that dual attack. You've got to be kidding me. All right, that is super, super unfortunate. All right, well, now we just have to slowly do this fight until we can get our... We should have saved the revive. I'm so dumb. I, he's at least higher combat readiness when we do end up getting a turn. All right, so we're going to just try to keep provoking. Oh, he has counter. Don't hit. No, he hit. Okay. All right, this is looking really bad. Oh, no, I think I messed up. But this was all player error. All right, three turns on make Chloe because she's not Mulligord. Uh, we do have our S2 again. I'm going to go ahead and push this Ken back. The Ken is the scariest thing because if he does hit uh, make Chloe in defense break, it could end up being slightly bad for me. All right. We just got to not hit the Alencia, and we should be pretty decent. All right, we got to provoke again. He still can't do his S3. That's good. Stop dual attacking. Okay, make Chloe one more turn. Provoke. Uh, Elena's gonna cleanse anyway. Oh, wait, Elena won't cleanse because of this. All right, we're gonna have to get the res or revive on Strays this turn. All right, so this thing is provoked. We're not gonna attack the Elena because we don't want to counter. So she screams again. This is perfect timing. But my Strays is just gonna die again. I don't know. I think this, this match is kind of a wash. Stop dual attacking. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and rip... Oh, Strays will revive with attack buff. If he gets a dual attack on Elena here, I'm going to cry. Okay, thank goodness. All right, so now we're in a spot that I can go ahead and horse. I'm going to go ahead and soul burn horse into... Uh, they do have defense buff on everything because of the Alencia scream, which really sucks. I'm going to go ahead and horse soul burn into the... Elena here, just because I want to make sure I kill it. And since it does have defense buff... It might be a pain, because I don't see Strays doing a ton of damage. We'll try to push back the Ken. Got it. Okay, so now Strays is going to just die to the Alencia, though, which... Oh, wait, no, he gets invincible! Wait, there is a chance here, because he, he goes invincible. Oh, wait! We just one-shot that Alencia. Oh, we just one-shot that Alencia! Wait, what just happened? We just one-shot that Alencia. I wish we would have provoked there because Strays is uh, struggling now. Because he's going to get S3. Bye, Strays. <laughs> Strays dies again. Dude, we just one-shot that Alencia. How much damage did I do to it? I didn't think the Alencia would have lower uh, attack than the... I really didn't think the Alencia would have lower attack than... Alright, stop, counter. Don't... don't. Uh, we just have to survive... Stop dual... Dude, okay, this Ken's gonna pop off and solo me, isn't it? Or not solo me, but... Come on, get a stun, Chloe. I just need to be able to revive... I need to be able to revive Strays again before I kill this Ken. Alright, two turns. Alright, we should be able to revive. Alright, but I, I don't know how much I did to that Alencia. That was... Felt like very big damage. All right, we got the Provoke, perfect. And now we can go ahead and revive, and Strays will survive for another fight. This was a little scary, but I can't believe we one-shot the Alencia. We had to have done a very, very good amount of damage. Oh, crap. Uh, if I don't one-shot here, we're going to die. Oh, Soul Burn it for the hell of it. All right, we, we kill it. Ooh, if we, if we wouldn't have one-shot and he countered. All right, so we saved Strays. The last fight will go risky, but that was uh, a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to go ahead and just go straight for the Apoc Ravi here. And try to one-shot it. I don't know if we'll be able to one-shot it. Depends on how much HP it has, obviously. Um, he does have one Knight on the board. But I think that... 
it will oh yeah so 29k there and then we'll go ahead and do an s3 onto lilius so the rest of this fight will be pretty easy and now for the next fight though i will be trying out a lot of the other units that have gotten buffed uh such as green sid ml ken operator cigarette uh elena hu fiend i don't have green violet but i will be probably doing a sp uh, show or like a specialized video for each different one of those units and i am very excited for that it's a counter the end you gotta be kidding me is i think he had just full counter everything i think the alencia was even on counter that's why it was uh a lot squishier than you would initially think there's no way i hit it for that much damage it had to have been like less than 20k hp alencia or something right i don't know i'll have to go back after the video and check but i still can't believe that one shot this build seems okay. Um, I'm curious. I'm going to try to take it into RTA later, possibly, and see how it uh, works out in there. But it seems like it could be okay, but I think the best strays is going to probably still just end up being the Cleaver strays. And we miss crit. That sucks. Dude, this anti-crit's putting in work. All right, we are going to go ahead and we're going to lock this stupid unit down. All right, and then now I'm just going to go ahead and hit the DN while she is, uh, dude, the counters. Stop. Okay, now I'm going to hit this. This can't be on counter, right? <laughs> All right, we're good. And that is it. Okay, yeah, we get we get a dual attack. Nice. Okay, so this will wrap up fight number two. Fight number three will come back, and I'll try to do some kind of more aggro comp with General Pergus as the attack buffer for Strays and see how that ends up turning out. All right, so here we go. For this last team, I'm going to play a little bit more aggressive, but that's not really the point of the Strays. The Strays is supposed to be slower and take more have more people take turns before he goes, so he gets more Hellcutter stacks. But I'm going to try the gen or General Pergus Basar and two strays for against this bottom team because i want to try to one shot this troublemaker proza now next up for the other team i'm going to try operator cigarette on her new buff and see how much damage she'll end up doing i don't think i'll be able to one shot this fallen cecilia with the flan boost into her but we'll see and then we have the kisei uh here because it'll add a little bit of spice we'll try to one shot the carrot afterwards and see if that works so we'll have guaranteed attack buff if not greater attack buff on kisei which will be nice actually real quick before we get into the fight let me go ahead and make sure that kisei does have gear on because i have been moving gear around like crazy if you guys have been watching she does have gear on i don't know how good it is but we'll have to find out i actually don't know what any of my units builds are really right now but let's go ahead and get into it i think this could be a decent decent showcase i'm pretty sure everyone's geared i think portrait of saviors on my yeah okay good so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and boost up the operator cigarette give her attack buff and that and then we're gonna go ahead and s2 honestly we could probably just s2 the landy if we s2 the landy it could end up being very good for us i'm gonna just s2 the landy because that takes a lot of his damage off the board that did do a ton of damage and the nice thing with this is we're gonna guaranteed hit the carrot but the problem with guaranteed hitting the carrot is it's just going to get barrier back. And then now we have to try to reset the carrot. If we don't reset the carrot here, I think we lose, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, dodge. Dodge. We didn't dodge on anyone. We didn't dodge on anyone. This is, this is doomed. Oh, it's doomed. Yeah, we're dead to burns. Oh my god, we're dead to burns. Yeah, this is this is doomed. All right, well, Kisa has to go ahead and take the uh, take the L here, and then Flan. Everyone's dead. <laughs> this didn't work. Uh, maybe I should have went for the carrot turn one. I just didn't think I could kill the carrot because of the damage mitigation. Yeah, she's dead. And I'm Bob. There goes Kisa. All right, so that was a fail. That was definitely not the play. <laughs> But oh well, that's funny. It, it was worth the attempt. I needed to reset the carrot. And we just didn't get it. So if I had reset the carrot, that was a free win. Alright, so here we go. Now this is the one I care more about. So General Pergus can go ahead and give us the attack buff. 
RB counterattack. Don't hit strays. All right, this fight's doomed. This fight's just doomed. If RB counters again, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already just lose a anyway, but. All right, no counter from RB at least. All right, strays, attack buff, hell cutter. One shot, easy. One shot the Groza, please crit. 33k, 33,000 damage to that. That's pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna start working on the Cerise if we can. And then I'm going to, honestly, I'm just gonna try to S2. See if we can do, yeah, he countered again. I had a feeling he would. All right, see if we get a counter from Strays. No Strays counter. Let's see if we can provoke the, ooh, sick dual attack. All right, Um, right, I'm pretty sure the RB from here just solos us though. I don't know how we can end up winning this because we do lose everything here. Um, If I don't kill him, it's just gonna counter me to death. Stop. Why'd you hit strays again? Yeah, he's going yeah, he's going crazy. He's blinded, doesn't matter. This RB, this RB is soloing my entire existence. Look at this thing go! Alright, uh counter RB still better than counter strays. Confirmed. Alright, so it's 15 15k RB, yeah, this didn't end up working. Those uh those early counters were just too much. All right, well, why not end the video on some fails? Like I said, that's not really the purpose of that strays. Uh, it's better to play safe with him, but I wanted to try to just brute force and show the damage on this kind of more tanky of a build. And that's not that much, that's not that much damage on him. He has pretty dang good bulk and he was able to still do 35K, which there's damage transfer there, yes, but it was still plenty enough to one shot a Trollmaker Groza. So that is huge. Like, even even on a non-full damage build, being able to one-shot Trollmaker Crows, that's very, very good. So 11.45 defense with 14k HP. Um, I think this has some viability. Uh, like I said, not really for Guild War, but this was just the best place to try it out real quick. And uh, I will be doing a lot of RTA, testing all the new units out over the next little bit. Um, is RTA open, actually? I haven't checked that. Is RTA open? It is! Hey, we got the Ruel skin. Let's go. There she is, the old Ruel skin. I didn't do RTA for like the last forever of the season. All right, let's go throw the Ruel skin on real quick. But either way, I appreciate you all watching this video. Um, I, like I said, a lot more Epic 7 content coming. I will be slowing down on the other games I've been playing for this week. But after this week, I will be playing Punishing Grey Raven. So if any of you are going to be playing that, I'd appreciate if you, uh, dude, that is nice. I love this skin. This leg looks a little bit weird, but yeah, this skin, this skin is very nice. Way better than original skin. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been Mitchell DD, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.